Hey guys, it's Simak here. Today I want to talk about uh, passion and skill set. So following your passion is bad advice. Actually, I learned this concept from a book uh, called So Good They Can't Ignore You uh, from Cal Newport. And in this book, basically, Cal Newport explores why uh, telling people follow your passion is a bad advice. And I think I'm very on board with his opinion. When you tell someone follow your passion, right, it means... Just think about if you're if you get excited about a business concept, if you're you know if you think you know running your own business is a cool idea, uh, that's actually not enough to force you to make you successful in business because you're going to face a lot of challenges along the way, and you are going to give up if you are only following your passion, right? If you do not have the skills to actually solve those business problems and. That's why, you know, when people follow their passion, they think, okay, all I need is just to be excited and passionate about something. That's not enough in real life experience. Uh, the word is competitive. If you want to become really successful, you need to invest your time and energy to become really, really good at one thing, right? Let's say uh, you want to become software engineer, you want to become cloud architect, you want to become security expert, whatever you want to do, you need to put the time and effort and learn the skill set, right? Learn the skill set that uh, you're going to need to actually be really good in that field. And then passion will come after. Excitement will come after. When you're good at something, guys, when you're good at something, you actually start enjoying the process. When you are a good uh, security you know, expert and you're actually trying to figure things out, you feel excited. You feel fulfilled. You feel so passionate about that. However, it might not be the thing that you actually wanted to start. Well, what matters actually in real life uh, is what you know and what you can accomplish, not what you're passionate about. Uh, if you go to job interview and tell people, oh, you know what? I'm really passionate about uh, software engineering. Uh, I'm passionate about actually cloud computing. It's a great concept, but I don't know how to do things you know, in, in cloud. So basically, your passion doesn't worth anything. It's not worth it. It's not wanted in this life, right? So what matters, what pays your bill, what makes you successful in life is the amount of work and skills you have in a field, right? And you can apply it to different businesses. That what matters, that what people want to see. Companies want to see, okay, uh, I know you're passionate about a lot of different things, but I want to see you can actually, you know, build a cloud infrastructure for a company from scratch. So uh, actually Cal Newport, you know, uh, opens up this, uh, the whole entire concept. I definitely recommend you read his book. I'm not by the way, sponsored by him. But uh, I actually learned a lot from him. And uh, this is actually how I've done it uh, in my own life. I uh, actually back in school, in high school, uh, I hated uh, chemistry. I never learned chem chemistry. And I think the reason I never liked it because I never understood uh, the concept because I felt, oh, it's just not for me. That's actually not true. I'm only passionate about math. Uh, if you're only passionate about mathematics, that's not enough to make you a good you know, a uh, programmer or, or a mathematician, right? When you're actually stuck in something and you, you know, you really spend time, you take time to deeply go through all the concepts to learn. That's the moment that you're learning. That's the moment that uh, you are adding skills, you're adding value to yourself and you're not only talking about passion. So if you're trying to figure out your, uh, you know, what uh, field to study, what programming language to learn, what uh, business to build, make sure passion is not the only thing that you are considering because this is a very dangerous, uh, actually, um, advice to someone because I can tell you, you know what? The life is going to be beautiful. You're going to sit in sunset. You're going to, you know, just travel all the time. No, it's actually in real life. It doesn't work that way. You have to work hard. You have to add to your skill set. So you can actually add value to people's life. Being passionate doesn't add value to people's life. So, and when you're just stuck and when you are, you know, at your border, when you don't know and concepts are new and you're really struggling to figure things out, that's the moment that passion is not going to help you. Uh, but uh, following through, you know, having the right skill set, it's the thing that's going to make you successful in life. So uh, be really good at, the, at what you're doing, whatever you're doing in life. Make sure you're the best one uh, and one of the best ones. And uh, instead of, you know, telling people follow your passion, I would tell them, you know what, uh, pick a skill that something is valuable. Even if you're not so passionate about it, start learning about it. Of course, in, in, in few weeks or few months, if you really think 
this is not your thing you can of course switch but uh, before passion don't start with passion start with skills right S start once you learn the programming language let's say you learn Python start building something with Python go through all the struggle figure things out read about it spend time yeah, right spend time give yourself enough time to digest to struggle with those problems when you struggle with the problem you actually uh, after that you will have a good understanding about the concept and this is how successful people you know uh, do it and i've done it in my life i know a lot of people they follow the same thing they just they're not hoping for overnight success what you see it's the tip of the iceberg the actual success, the, the, the years of experience, the years of struggle, it's actually under the water that people are putting time and effort in order to become their best version. So um, instead of following your passion, pick the field that you're interested in. You know, you don't have to be really, really passionate and, you know, so super excited about it. Uh, you think you can be a good engineer? You can actually start, you know, with that concept and learn and find the skills that is required for a good engineer and then once you you know actually learn you 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 become passionate about it so in my opinion and uh, you know cal newport actually in his book talks about the same concept you start with a skill and then when you become good at one thing you will be passionate about it you will really enjoy it because it feels really good when you are good at something and not just following your passion so uh I know you guys got the concept. I definitely recommend and uh, you go and uh, get the book, read about it and learn more about it. But um, the point is, instead of just following your passion and hoping for things to you know, work out well, uh, spend the time, put enough time and effort in, you know, in your skill set, learn as much as you can. So you're so good, so nobody can ignore you, right? You're not just the only passionate programmer. You're actually someone who knows how to build things, how to solve real life problems. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, my uh, personal advice is put time in on a daily basis. Consistency is a key in uh, software engineering. You have to, you know, sit uh, for long hours. You have to stay focused, get into the zone and, you know, become really, really, you become really, really smart when you're in the zone, when you're sitting for long hours and thinking about one, one problem and trying to figure out uh, the solution. Put enough time, put time block, no matter what you're doing, give yourself enough time and be consistent. Don't uh, learn one thing and then do nothing with it. Whatever you're learning, uh, you know, just, you know, apply it to real life examples. Try to use it somewhere, somehow in your uh, work uh, and or you know even if you are uh, building a personal project you can actually test it there follow your skills uh, become someone who has skills invest in yourself learn as much as you can and you will be successful i hope you like this video please leave any comments below and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you next time